Oh god. Oh, this isn't nice. Oh shit. <laughs> Look at that house. A bit sexual, isn't it? I just want to make some content that helps my head and helps others. Hello there. I'm doing some cycling. And I haven't been cycling in a long time. So this is pretty cool. Oh, a bit wobbly. I've got a bit of a uh, old undersized bicycle. Um, it's not the right size for me. And I just find that it can be hard to cycle up hills. But it works. <laughs> uh, it's good for your legs though. Gives you gives me a nice burn on my legs. So I'm just gonna take you guys around my old route. Where when I was cycling quite a lot, I would I would take this route. And I think it's quite nice. Hopefully there'll be some uh, some Christmas lights to look at. So it's quite a nice quiet road, which I quite like. Let's pull off to the left, don't let this car go. Yeah, and it's a nice area. I used to go down this way um, when I had a lot of anxiety. I would come down here and it would just be a nice place to uh, retreat from it all and let it pass. Whoop. It's a nice morning, it's uh, about nine o'clock, I think. Guys, I've got my phone in my left pocket. I don't really like it, it feels a bit strange. But yeah, lately I've uh, I've been feeling good, and I attribute that to healthy eating, and I actually attribute it more to force feeding. I've been um, making myself eat a few more calories than normal, and it's actually giving me more energy. There's a car coming behind me. Do we do let this guy go past? Oh, he's turning, is he? Never mind. I like to get out of the way of the cars. Let them have the priority. Just I don't like messing around with cars, you know. Drivers hate cyclists. So I like to keep well out of their way. The minute I'm gonna be going up this hill quite slowly, so I'm gonna go onto the pavement, you know. Because you won't see me going up very fast. I already know I'm gonna get sweaty doing this. <laughs> Quad side to burn. I really should have kept up doing this. Ooh. Let's change the gear. <coughs> Don't I'm going onto the pavement now. Actually, no, I'm not. Yeah, no, no one behind me. That's all right. Something good about cycling, you know? I always used to think, what's the point in walking? It's so fucking slow. <sighs> There's an ambulance. Screw it, I'm going on the pavement, chilling. Oh. Yeah, going to first gear and you can relax. <laughs> right. Yeah, so just want to take you guys around my chill route that I used to go so I quite like it once we get there I'll go put the camera on a pole you can see from above me I think that might look quite cool but for now you guys are attached to my bike so yeah I was saying I've been feeling happier the past sort of three, three, four days or something. And that's been since I've been, I describe it as force feeding. Yeah, forcing food down. And um, I've just been feeling better really. 
I never really thought about the link between being underfed and your happiness levels. Let's go back in the road. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe I was sort of unintentionally underfeeding myself because something I've always found hard is gaining weight. So I'm always the same weight. And uh, I've been making a big push in the gym lately. Like I'd like to gain a little bit more muscle. Uh, I'd like to take things to a new level I've never been at. So part of that would be getting a little bit bigger. Oh, I'm back on the, going back on the pavement for a second. Yeah, so I've just been. I haven't been tracking calories, but been tracking my weight about once a week I think we're starting to trend up I was stuck at 76 to 77 for a while and I reached a new PB of 78 the other day the heaviest I've ever been was virgin on 82 that was my strongest right back on the road Oh, it's nice coming out for a cycle. I won't lie. Dee dee. Oh, got to gear up. Dee dee dee. Yeah, we're coming up to the woods shortly. Oh, man, what a nice day. It's really nice out. It's not too hot. I love it, but it's a bit chilly. Like the perfect sort of weather for exercise I mean even though my fingers are frosty I'm bloody sweaty in here well, I mean I, I run hot I do gotta have cold weather right here's where we get to start going into nature my favorite Sorry if this looks a bit bumpy. That's because it is. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do. Uh. Oh, that was bumpy. Bloody hell. You always know I uh, haven't grown up when I start humming. It's just enjoying going at that pace. Just start going dee dee dee. <laughs> All right, not much more bumps to go. But yeah, how nice is this? I love having the. Uh, Nice bit of woods right next to my house. Ooh. You just know if you tear up down here, you'll get mud all on the back of your legs. Oh, my heart skipped a beat there. What the hell? Let's wait till I collapse dead. The camera will capture my last moments. What could be nicer than that? Just gotta get through this bit. It's hard to talk whilst it's so bumpy. Thing is, I'll be cycling back up this. Oh, okay. That's the most of it. Wow, it's so muddy down here. 
How disgusting. It's making me tempted to go a different route back. What should I do? Hmm, ponderous. Maybe I should go a different route back. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, force feeding. It's been working well for me so far. And it definitely feels like I have to force it in. Like, I'm not hungry when I eat those additional meals. Body's just used to maintaining. Been the same weight for a long time, other than a blip. Other than that, I'm just the same weight. I think the fattest I ever was was uh, when I was very into Xbox and StarCraft 2. Didn't do any exercise. Well, I did some skateboarding, but I was a bit fluffy back then. Well, I feel like I can feel the floor. No, we're not flat. It's just my imagination. Just not used to it. Hey. Yeah, I'll stick to my original route, you know. I think I will. It's a nice hill to cycle up. There's one thing we're not short of around this area is hills. So if you like hills, which I'm sure most of you don't, you can um, get your hills in. Should I go down this way? Um, you know what? I will. I think I will go this way. Look at the bike over there. Let's chuck you guys over. That was pretty easy. Don't wait for me, guys. Ding dong. Excuse the runny nose. Wow, it's, it's very muddy down here. Let's go through this little gap. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the tyres will be fine. I just, I want to avoid this horrible mud. There we go. Oh fuck it, I'll just ride through it. Yeah, I didn't really have uh, much in mind to talk about really. I just wanted to take you guys out on a little bicycle, bicycle ride. Sort of a, oh God, <laughs> archival for me really. So one day I can look back and remember this is the way I used to go. Uh, you could uh, really hurt yourself if you tore it up down here. It's a good thing this bike still works, you know, I haven't used it in like over a year. The tyres were just completely flat and I couldn't be bothered to deal with it. Okay. There's a tree that's been knocked over. Let's see how we traverse this. Oh God, this is a nice. Oh my word. Oh shit. <laughs> no. I was trying to avoid treading in that. Bollocks. That mud is too thick. Oh fuck, I've got mud on my, oh it's all over my shoes. Should have worn my shit shoes. Okay, I'm gonna wipe them off. God damn it. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! 
hate getting these shoes muddy. I should have worn the crap shoes. Oh well, shoes are shoes. Oh, they look so bad now. This happened the other day, I wore them golfing. They got so fucking muddy, I actually hand washed them to get rid of it. Oh, why didn't I listen to my own advice? Wore my black shoes. I've literally got a rubbish pair of these exact shoes as well. This happens so often, you know. I come up with great solid advice for myself and I never bloody follow it. And I usually think back, like, if only I actually did what I said, I would. I'd be much better off. Even the bike sounds unhealthy after going through that, Jesus. I was... I was going through it. Thought I could keep going, but then suddenly it just slipped too much. I had to put my foot on the floor. How frustrating. Never mind. Orange shoes can't stay orange forever, can they? Right, what's the best way now? Oh, there's bloody massive bits of mud everywhere. Through it. It's like a puzzle. Oh, this is rubbish. I've walked through here before. The thought of it is a puzzle, you know. It's like, a, how do you solve it? How do we get through this with the least amount of mud? It'd be that way. And do you know what? I think I've got to do it on the wheels. Hope I don't slip. Need to get a bit of speed. <laughs> this is a bit ridiculous. Okay. Pray. Bollocks. No nah, bollocks. Oh, we're free. Oh, God. Now we're all right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> the hell? It's a fenced off bit down there. Like a crime or something. Oh, God, more mud. Just go through it. Through it. I'm pulling some stupid faces here. Right, we've had a bit of fun with the mud. Let's keep going. We won't finish with the mud. Wee! <laughs> oh, we made it. <sighs> These shoes are going to annoy me later now. Right, let's just send the bike over again. There we go. Do do do. The bike does not feel right after that. Almost feels like it's been tainted. Did it, some mud just hit me. In, there's mud in my head. <laughs> oh, there's mud flying everywhere. It keeps flying up in front of the camera.
I'm flying. Do do do. Okay. This is where the workout actually begins. We've reached the bottom. The only way back is going up. And it's going up a hell of a lot of hills. This is where the quad workout begins. I do think cycling is very good for your, your quads and your knees. I think if you kept this up regularly, you'd have very strong legs. But you need to counter it with some hamstring work as well. I mean, racing cyclists, they're strapped in. And with each pedal, you use your hamstrings to uh, pull the pedal up. Push and pull. So you get a bit of work of each, each of the muscle groups. But with this sort of bike, you're not strapped in. It's all, it's all quads. So you got to do what you got to do. You got to just do what you can with the equipment you got. I'm not saying I like the pedals with the the hooks. No, I can't say I'm a big fan of it. Should I put the 360 cam up on a pole? What do you guys think? Should we pole it up? Yeah, why not? There we go. I'm going to pole now. <laughs> All right. Well, hope this works. Right, you guys are above me, <laughs> so you've got a better perspective of the area than I do. How's it look? It's a very uh, chill road to cycle up, it's a nice area. I think it'd be uh, very expensive to live here. Not for the likes of me. Just saw someone uh, go past on a quad bike with a GoPro on his helmet. Now that looked pretty fun. I'd like to do that. Look at that house. Massive. Oh, it's just so peaceful up here. Not like the, uh, it is peaceful up here. And I'll tell you what's not peaceful. My sweat glands, they are pumping. My God. Oh. But there's nothing more satisfying than getting home and knowing you've put in a good sweat. Something nice about it. And do you know what's nice in that? It's washing it all off. That's very satisfying. <clears throat> it's like a private ambulance. I just had an idea that would be quite nice. Take you guys to uh, National Trust areas. Next time we visit one, just bring this camera along. I mean, why not? We like going there. It's one of the nice, uh, nice things to do in the area. You just hop out, 
go look at a nice historical building with some family. It's just quite nice. Oh my quads are burning a bit now. It's not as hard as I thought it would be though. I thought I'd be a, a lot more unfit. This, <laughs> this house up here on the right, I always describe it as like the, uh, the Spanish house. Doesn't look like it belongs in this area. Houses are all so different up here. It's a Tesla. Nice colour. I like how shiny it is. Oh, I wonder how fast I'd have to pedal to go 20 up this road. Do you reckon he's going 20? I think <laughs> if I tried that, that would be, maybe I'd reach it and it would last all of a quarter of a second and then my quads would be screaming. Oh. Blimey. <laughs> really is burning now. We've still got more uphill to go. A little bit of a respite here. Ooh. Kicking my lungs ass. So do do all right. Car coming up behind me. No, nope, I was wrong. That's a fucking stripper. <laughs> My ears deceived me. <sighs> oh, I've been thinking about stress lately and how I react to things. And I think you need to take a well. I need to take more of an approach where I just let things pass me by and don't react to it. I'm very uh, react, not volatilely, but I can react quite instinctively strong to things. I think I've got to chill out a bit, do things like this. Because I mean, I did get a bit pissed off when my uh, orange shoes got muddy. But at the end of the day, what does it fucking matter? I mean, it's just a bit of mud. They're just shoes. You know, they're supposed to get a bit dirty, aren't they? And at the end of the day, I'll stop using those shoes at some point. And it won't have mattered in the slightest whether I got the muddy or not. And ultimately one day I'll be dead, so might as well not let it bother me. I think I've got to take that approach to things in general, really. But stress to an extent can be useful. It can make you get things done. It can make you worry about things that you should not necessarily should be worried about, but it lets you know things that you you think you ought to be doing. But there's a level and a point where stress is just uh, unnecessary. I think for the most part, stress isn't necessary if you can choose to react in the right way. Okay, uphill level two. There, uh, there's not much to, if you take a step back, think about what do I actually have to be stressed about? Can I just think things through in a different way? I think maybe you can uh, chill out a bit. 
Oh, they stick in for this hill. That's all right. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> all right, let's dig in. Ooh. Now, that is a burn. Not quite an exquisite burn, but that is a burn. Oh. That's it. Control your breathing. Oh, I'm slowing down. Bumps. Ooh. Bumpy, bumpy. You know, I would call this a pump. I'm getting a pump from this. I heard something yesterday. Apparently, carbon dioxide clears out your acid buildup. Oh, the name, lactic acid, that's it. So, right now, there's lactic acid in my legs, in my quads, from pushing down. And apparently, that gets cleared with CO2. So, how would you clear that out quickly? Would that be shallow breathing? Like shallow breath in, deep breath out. I don't know. That's all what I was just thinking about. Oh, my balls are getting crushed. It's a problem with bicycle seats. It's almost like you need a seat with a hole in the middle. So your gooch, your gooch and balls just dangle. That'd be nice. <laughs> okay, guys, another hill. Another hill, and then we're back to flat for a little bit. Ooh. Okay, let's do it. It's ramping up. I hear a car. Seems like it's not coming this way. Now, here's a view. You won't be able to see it on the camera, but through them bushes. I can see the sea. It's amazing how much you can see from here. See the sea. Now that's when things get confusing. See the sea. It's getting steeper. This is what we're here for. Quad burn. Oh. I am dripping. Good thing I took some uh, electrolytes before I came down. guy doing sorry about the noise it's a bit sexual isn't it Whew. a little bit sexual right oh my gooch we're back in action a little break and we're on let's have it 
No, I didn't leave anything behind, did I? Nope. I always get worried about that. <laughs> I think I've left something behind when I haven't. <sighs> right. We've got a little bit downhill, then we go uphill. <sighs> now I know I haven't really, uh, I haven't really talked much this video, guys, but do let me know if you like this sort of thing. It's quite nice for me to make. Because I tell you what, it gives me a reason to go outside. And I need more reasons to go outside. Otherwise I just stay in. Whew, like yesterday I stayed in. I made some videos for YouTube. And then, other than playing World of Warcraft, I just sat around and like thought about the videos I could make and I don't know how useful that is I mean it's good to have your ideas but oh that's just a little bit of cob burn there yeah just sort of uh, staring at my creator page I think it's a bit unhealthy I wanted this to be more of a thing where I upload and then I forget about it but I'm good at letting like thoughts of views and trying to see if my like thinking about thumbnails and titles consume me and that's not what my goal was from this it was to just talk and hopefully improve my well-being the goal wasn't to be consumed by thoughts of progress on here because I don't think that's a healthy way of looking at it but that's sort of where my mind just goes to it just sort of instinctively goes to that how can I get better there was a car behind me I'm going on the pavement Whoop. And back on the road. Yeah, I don't... But obviously, I, I guess deep down, I do want to see some progress on the channel, but... Not to the detriment of my mental health, as it were. Because I'm quite prone to getting hyper-focused on things. And then getting a bit sad if things don't work out. Oh. I'm going a bit faster. This is all I've got. Anyway, yeah. Okay, we're clear. Yeah, just uh, I want. I just want to make some content that helps my head and helps others. Otherwise, what am I doing here? That's about it really guys. So that was my chill chill cycling route. I used to do that a lot to like clear my head. It's not too long. I'd be interested to see how long this has taken actually. I can uh, see that by the time of the video. But yeah, hope you liked it. And catch you in the next one. Thanks.